And with the coronation now just days away, uh, Lambeth Palace has been forced to defend its suggestion for the public to swear allegiance to King Charles after it was fiercely criticised by Republicans, clarifying that the millions watching across the country will be invited, not expected or requested to say, I swear that I will pay true allegiance to your majesty and to your heirs and successors, according to law, so help me God, raising the prospect of the public swearing an oath to Prince Andrew and Prince Harry, uh, before adding, God save King Charles, long live King Charles, may the king live forever when prompted by the Archbishop of Canterbury. But this has even divided royalists with our very own Angela Levin saying this is a step too far for her. So tonight I'm asking, is it wrong for Brits to be invited to pledge allegiance to the king at the coronation? Dan at GBNews.uk, vote in our live poll at GB News on Twitter. But to debate this now, I'm delighted to have in the studio tonight... Direct from California, she is our U.S. royal insider, Kinsey Schofield, the activist and journalist. He's a Republican who has just admitted he will be <laughs> protesting the coronation, <laughs> Peter Datchel, and the socialite and royal insider, Lady Victoria Harvey. So, Lady V, let me start with you, because you actually don't think they should have changed this tradition in the first place. No, I just, you know... Something like as big as a coronation, I just don't believe that these new changes are something that people actually are looking for. I, I, I think it is something that, why are we going to change it now, having, having this allegiance? Why should everyone swear allegiance? Um, why not just leave it how it was before and certain people swear allegiance and not everyone, because not everyone is going to want to. Kenzie, well, I, guess, like... I guess the reason behind it is they felt this was a way to almost democratise the coronation, right? right? Open it up to everyone. But it's going to backfire, possibly. Well, I think it is. Happening, it is right? backfiring, yeah. actually. Big time. But, Kenzie, you think this is sweet. You think, as an I... American, this is a lovely thing. I do, because... Well, also, I think this generation is so obsessed with participating. Mm. They want the selfie. They want to be involved. This is a great way for people to be able to take a photo, to talk about this 20 years from now. You know, th to say that they were involved in this historic event that does not happen, you know, qu quite often in our lifetime. So I think that it's romantic. It's, you know, I, I think it's a, a unique tradition. And, I mean, he's not my king, but I don't mind doing it just because I want to be involved mm. in such a historic opportunity. Peter Tatchell, arguably, though, this is the, a gift to Republicans because you must be shocked to see someone like Angela Levin, you know, a staunch monarchist and, and royalist who loves the royal family saying, no, 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 this is just too much even for me. It does seem like a sign of royal weakness that people are being invited to pledge allegiance. Mm. And also it smacks of desperation, and understandably so, because according to polls, 52% of the British public are not interested in the coronation, and only 15% say they're very interested. But I think that's going to change, isn't it? It, it might, but, and, you know, people are entitled to their view, but I think it's clearly a, a fear that this is going to be a bit of a damp squib. Lady V, you have no time for anti-monarchists, no, 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 do but you? you? But you know, like, the, the thing when they say, oh, the figures... I mean, I wasn't asked. Were you asked? Like, I mean, I don't know where they get these figures from. No, I don't have time for anti-monarchists. I do not. I, I How say do you feel that, about Peter protesting on the day? I mean, look, you know, I mean, you look like a nice enough man. <laughs> but, you know, like, my... my sorry, my, my feelings were, you know, being asked about this is if it was, like illegal immigrants, just say, that were, you know, going against the crown. And I would just tell them to leave and go and live in, you know, Russia or China or in a communist country where there is no sovereign, where there is no royal family. Um, well, Putin's making a very good show of, of being, right. the, being the new czar. I mean, for you, like, if you're, so, if you're a very anti-monarchy, why do you want but to But, Peter, how do you respond to that? Because what Lady Victoria is essentially saying is this is part of being British... Uh, why don't you just get on board? Well, for those who want to celebrate, I'm 100% behind them. Mm -hmm. But I think there are some people, in fact, a sizable minority of people, who but why clearly are not interested. But why do you do it every day? Just every other day of the year. You can yeah. have political parties. At the end of the day, there is no big political support behind mm. republicanism. You know it. So why ruin the day? You're going to be at Trafalgar Square, I believe. That mm. is right near where the celebrations are going to be taking place. Yeah, but not right near. The coronation is going to take place down at Westminster Abbey. I mean, Abbey. I'm all for yeah. protesting and all of that. But if I was in charge of this coronation, I would arrest all the heads oh. of all, 
all of those kind of people that would be protesting, I would put them all in jail, like pre-coronation, and then release them after. Because it's... Even if they've not done anything criminal? It, no, even if, but if they have any record of doing anything. Mm. So all those no, not stop, stop oil, all of that lot, just put them in jail. I mean, can, can, you, can, can, can I you say this? Going back to the pledge, yeah. I mean, we pledge a li- true allegiance. That's what the word says, true allegiance. But what is true allegiance as opposed to false allegiance? Then it has to be finished with, so help me God, when half the British public have no God and no religion. Whistler. It's it, It's just... Absurd. Absurd. What's your allegiance? Would you Kenzie die Schofield. for your country? Kenzie Schofield, yeah. is it an issue, and I know Lady V will have a lot to say about this, so we'll come <laughs> to her in a second, but is this an issue uh, that a lot of folk have lost faith in Prince Andrew in particular and also Prince Harry? So we're not just swearing allegiance to King Charles and to Prince William because it's his heirs and his successors as well. That includes Andrew and Harry. So there'll be some folk who are real royalists but, I mean, but have an issue with Harry or Andrew. I think that's a brilliant observation, but that's not what I had... I didn't think about that at all when I read this. I think that... the I think people hesitate because there's an idea of you're better than us and we are the little people mm. and we are worshipping you. And I, I feel like that might be the disconnect. But, I, you know, that that's an interesting observation. I don't think of Harry... I don't but, think but, of Harry or Andrew at all but, when but, I think of Harry. Officially, like, officially, though, we would be yeah. pledging allegiance to Harry I and know. Andrew too. By the way, I'm going to send officially. you a 200-page document about some of those girls, which tells you everything. But... Just getting You're referring back, to but, the Prince Andrew. But just getting case. back to that, it's like you have to see them as completely separate from, like, all the yes. gossip, all the yeah. stuff the journalists write. All of that is, like, this is the royal family, this is their role. But are you happy to pledge allegiance to Prince Harry? Um, I Because you're no it, fan of what he's done. No, obviously. Past. No, no, no. And, and the thing is, those two are very different. You can't even really compare them. One has completely deserted his country and one does wants to be involved, but he has this person who's completely falsely accused mm. him. So it's very, mm. it's very mm. different. I mean, because... Peter Tatchell, this must be an interesting one for you too. Do you feel like the Republican movement has been boosted by the actions and behaviour of Prince Harry and Prince Andrew? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> but overall, we see that in the last few years... Public support for the royal family has declined significantly, Parti- particularly, pa- 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 particularly among younger people, and Harry, support. Harry and Meghan. Right. And, and, su- and, su- no, and, and support. Meghan's doing a great job. And support, actually. support for an elected head of state yeah. is rising. Yeah. So that's the trend. Yeah, that's exactly, the way things exactly. are going. But, but so you would say that actually Harry, Prince Harry, and Prince Andrew have been good for the Republican cause. Well, not by intention. But, you know, the other point to make is, of course, that, you know, we do have a situation where the king has been imposed upon us. The public were never asked for their consent or agreement. Mm. And I think if the royal family had any, P- no, no, no. Had any, just, any PR I, I sense, ask they you, would have put it to a public I vote. I want to ask you, so would you rather be like in America, at that political situation, which is so, so crazy, so polarised? No. Imagine if we had no royal family in this country, what the elections would that be like, because the they would get so United much country. power for, through an election. Yeah. It would be Insane. But I, I don't support an American-style president. So I, su- I support a low, <laughs> a low-cost, government. purely ceremonial president like they have in Ireland or Germany. It works well, Boy. has public yeah, consent. How people dull. come to this country. What low ambition they... you have for Britain. And what about the billion I mean, pounds, the by the way, that this so coronation is going to raise oh, for yeah. the economy? I mean, look at all the tourists everywhere. Yeah. Like, already they've Indeed. all in town like, with Indeed. their cameras running. And look, I sort it of agree. So much I don't for this think country. the excitement has been there early on, but it's going to build. Yeah. Because mark my words, before every jubilee of the Queen, there are all of the reports, yeah. the public aren't into this, uh, there's not the same excitement. I'm afraid to say, Peter, I think come I Saturday, it's, it's going to be very busy. It's very busy by Buckingham. But fascinating oh, debate. I actually got, <laughs> yes, I got one exactly. of those corgi toys. And, from and the don't shop mess the other with day. Lady Victoria, <laughs> she'll <laughs> lock you up. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, no one put me in power because everyone's <laughs> going to end up in the tower. OK, that was the Royal <laughs> yeah. and Showbiz journalist Kinsey Schofield, hot off the plane from Los Angeles, the activist and journalist Peter Tatchell, and the socialite royal insider Lady Victoria Harvey. So, who do you agree with? Is it wrong for Brits to be invited? to pledge allegiance to the king at the coronation from Dom. An invitation is an invitation. Do it if you want, don't if you don't. 
Everyone in the armed forces, police and public officers already swear allegiance to the monarch. It's not an unusual thing. Elliot writes, it's more weird than wrong, but definitely rather unsettling. Blatant displays of allegiance of this kind are not very British. And from Earl, this is via the email... This invitation has inevitably led to backlash and therefore was a bad move, but I and millions more will be celebrating and sharing on our king at the weekend regardless. Here, here, and your verdict is now, and wow, we're divided on this. I find it absolutely fascinating. So we will continue this conversation over the course of the week, actually. 48% of you say it is wrong for Brits to be invited to pledge allegiance to the king at his coronation. 52% of you like it. So, wow, given we are a very uh, British channel, we support the monarchy on the whole, that is a fascinating result.